Tour. Usually and lately I've been talking about travel, but there comes a part or a point when you travel where you find home and home for me is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So here is my apartment. You'll see what you can get for about 1600 bucks. Okay, so this is my entryway. The front door. When you first walk in, we have some face masks and hand sanitizer. This is that horseshoe from Iceland. If you haven't watched my Iceland videos, go do that. We have our shoe racks and here is our linen slash coat closet slash junk. <laughs> so I'm not going to make you see that. Here we have the bedroom, the master bedroom. This is a two bedroom apartment. We have a nice, pretty large double closet. Again, not gonna open that because it's messy. We even have room for this settee here, which is so cute. I have filmed a video on it. We got this little throw from West Elm uh, over the arm, but I just love this. And I always say I'm gonna sit here and like read a book, but I haven't done it yet. It's gonna happen one day. Um, here's my dresser. I got this um, furniture set from Raymore and Flanagan when I first moved here. It was pricey, but I love it. I'll show you the bed in a second. We mounted our TV. I have my diffuser, which I never use. Sage, I do use and that orchid just stopped blooming. I'm not gonna do like item by item because I hate when people do that. Let me keep it general. The mirror, I'm very oh. chill today. <laughs> Come and see you in pajamas and the sweatshirt. But the favorite part are these huge windows. I mean, these windows are so nice. It is so hot in this room every day because of all of the natural light. So we had to put curtains up in here. Luckily, these curtains were left from the previous residence, so we didn't have to buy these long curtains, which is nice. The bed, beautiful uh, gray and white bedspread from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe. Our nightstands are from At Home. I love this hatch alarm clock, I guess you would call it, but it's also a light. It's, amazing so i don't need a lamp i can just have that this be on suite as you would say i have the vanity down here with our uh, toiletries in these wicker baskets and then from there it's just a pretty standard shower and bathroom situation i do like that the towels go all the way up to the ceiling and it's a nice stand in shower with dark tiles i love the dark tiles so then we exit the master bedroom that's the front door we're gonna turn toward the kitchen but before we go in the kitchen we have bedroom number two which i won't be showing today this is my boyfriend's son's room and our office space so we have two desks and a bed in there it's cute it's homey but just for privacy i'm not going to show you his room but this is his bathroom and the guest bathroom and it has a tub, which is nice that we have a shower and a tub. Pretty standard bathroom again, but it's cute. I brought these pictures from my last apartment. I ordered them off Amazon. And I think this line drawing theme is very easy to find in stores and online. So I think I'm gonna pick something up in store that's on the line drawing theme and put it on this side. And maybe like a vase or something down here because it's kind of plain in here. But that's what we're working with so far. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Here's our closet for our washer and dryer and our cooling and heating system. Nobody really cares about that. But I do love our Samsung washer and dryer. I haven't had stackables before, so it is really nice to have those. They do a great job. They sing to you when they're done, which is annoying. Speaking of annoying, 
our bird. Okay, but before the bird, this is overview of our living room and our kitchen is open concept. This is a photo just randomly. It was in my old apartment above the couch. I did not want to see it above the couch again because I'm tired of looking at it. So I kind of just put it in this corner by the fridge. So let's start with the kitchen. I love the blue cabinetry with the bronze, I guess, or gold hardware. I think it's really cool and the stainless steel appliances, obviously. Um, I love that we have like a little nook window in the kitchen and I love these teal lights. So it's really nice quartz countertop, I think quartz countertop. Um, I found these bar stools in at Wayfair. They are a little tall for this bar height, but they work just fine. We have a Roomba, which is, or iRobot, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's a Roomba. iRobot Roomba, which is really helpful. I just turned it off and it was cleaning the floors. Um, if you hear this crackling, that's, I'll put this on for mood or ambiance. I'm gonna mute it. Okay, <laughs> so um, our floors are this beautiful color and I personally did not want to put an area rug in here because I love how open everything is and how spacious it looked. So I thought having a, a rug might make the space look smaller. So luckily my boyfriend's parents gave us this furniture. It fit really nicely in here. I got these teal, they're showing up more blue on my camera, but they're more of a teal pillow from at home to match the lights. Up here we have just some basic art. I just want like black and white art in here. I don't like colorful things, period. <laughs> so uh, one of our um, vacations was to Puerto Rico. You can also see that video uh, in my playlist. Just go to vlogs, I believe. Um, and then we have Philadelphia over here because obviously that's where we live. I purchased this fake plant because I can't keep a real one alive to save my life. And that was from at home. It was under $50. I think it was like 45 bucks. That vase I got from at home as well. It was $20. I need to get some like fake moth stuff to fill it up to the top. This, um, I'm sitting on my ottoman. <laughs> so if you heard that, that's what it was. This wicker, like blanket basket I got from Home Sense for like $29 and then all the blankets were like gifts to us during our apartment warming so we did have an apartment warming let me know if you think that's strange because I know most people only do a warming for like their house a house warming but it was really just an excuse for us to get our friends together and we had a really really good time so I'm glad we did it uh, we did it like less than a month or maybe like one month after we moved in. So we didn't have nearly as much stuff as we do now. We did have this. This is our great um, coffee table that was given to us by a friend. It also can move up so we can eat meals or do work on it, which is very convenient. And it has a lot of storage, as you can see. So moving on, I have this TV stand in my old apartment, so it's nothing new or special and uh the tv as well i had an old apartment but but my um partner gave it to me then we have our christmas tree it doesn't have a star yet we still need a star and um probably gonna put some more ornaments on it but we have a christmas tree uh got that from at home and the ornaments and ribbon and stuff got from at home and home since this came from the little plant thing came from target the stems and the vase itself came from at home. So <laughs> because of pistol here, we can't really burn real candles except aviary safe candles. So the candle over here is a bird safe candle, but a lot of my candles are not bird safe. So for the holidays, just to make it a little bit more festive and bright and cheery, I did buy these artificial candles which actually have like real wax in them and they flicker and they're in this beautiful like gold tinted candle holder they're really cute these are from at home these little christmas tree cones i got a little bird like pistol and my boyfriend's plant that if it's dying 
he is his fault because I told him to put it in the sun. And then we have, you know, candles I can't use. <laughs> so that's an overview of our living room area and our kitchen. Um, I guess I didn't show you this angle of the kitchen. It's just really no nice and neat. And what I love, I always, always, always desire to have uh, an exposed like air duct. And now we have it. And it just makes me feel like I'm living in a loft. The ceilings are so high and it just, it feels so spacious. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention that ladder shelf. I ordered from Amazon and I put it together. It took me entirely way too long, but I did it. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted that and I got it. I'm very happy. There's tons of recessed lighting in here. So it's very bright, very pretty. Um, and I just absolutely love it. So nothing really to speak on in the kitchen. It's just a kitchen. <laughs> But I will, um, oh, we do have another piece of art over here because I did go there when I went to Italy a couple of years ago. I do have some Italy footage. It would be a very disconnected vlog of like random things happening. It wasn't, I didn't film it in a very continuous, smooth way. But if you guys want to see some footage from my trip to Italy in 2017, then let me know. I went to Rome and Florence and I'll happily post that because I should probably do something with the footage anyway. So I uh, just wanted to close out and say this is what you can get for about $1,600 uh, a month in Philadelphia. I am in the, uh, we'll say University City area. I don't want to say the particular like neighborhood or streets or whatever for safety. But yeah, we're in the University City area. This is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. Ba um, it is a multi-unit apartment building and yeah we can have pets clearly it's very nice and i like it i like it a lot we've been here for about four months yeah yeah four months four months on like saturday so it's been great say bye to the people pistol pistol say bye to the people pistol is not <laughs> he's not amused oh Okay, buddy. We'll see you later. Well, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed my apartment tour, and I hope that you guys are having cheery and bright season, and that you are comfy and cozy wherever you are. Thank you so much. I didn't get to film this on my camera like I wanted to, so thank you for putting up with my shaky uh, I found the footage and I will see you in the next video. Bye.